Resumes. This is the very first impression you will have on an employer and a recruiter will base their decision to interview based on it. How do we formulate a resume to put our best foot forward? In this video, we're going to go over exactly what a resume is, what you should include, and why it's important. This is part one of a three-part video series covering resumes. Hello and welcome to the Work for Warriors Nevada Virtual Training Library. My name is Ismail and today I'm going to give you an overview of resumes and what you should include in them. Let's start with talking about what a resume is. This is your first impression on an employer, so it's essential that you put your best foot forward in your resume. Resumes are a summary of your professional and personal experiences and skills relevant to the position you are seeking. This is important. Putting irrelevant information on a resume wastes valuable space. And yes, there is a limit to what you can put on a resume. We'll talk about that in just a bit. On a resume, you should also be highlighting your skills, experiences, and accomplishments showing you are qualified for that position. You should also highlight your education, volunteer and community activities, and any leadership positions you've had outside of your professional experience. This is especially important if you are looking for a leadership position to show your leadership experience. Resume should be a simple, ideally one-page document. Depending on your level of experience, a two-page resume is acceptable, but you should never exceed two pages. Recruiters spend about 6 to 10 seconds on each resume skimming the document looking for the key skill identifiers they want, and will decide based on that if they will call you or not. With that said, avoid typos. Typos show that you don't proofread your work and you are prone to mistakes. And if you make mistakes on a simple one-page document like this, it doesn't make your first impression look good to a recruiter. When building out a resume, use bulleted format to list out your experiences in each job search. I'll go more in detail on format of a resume later in the series, so be sure to check back in. Although most resumes will be submitted digitally, if you go to a career fair or networking event, make sure you print your resumes on high quality white paper and ensure it's easily scannable. Employers will want to scan their resumes and save your resumes on their computers or email them to someone within their company. Now that we've covered the basics, here's what a typical resume will include. They are jobs held, volunteer activities, duties performed, skills acquired, quantitative accomplishments, qualitative accomplishments, schools attended, and honors received. When you go through your list of experience, pick and choose what to include or exclude based on the position or positions you are applying for. Yes, this means if you are applying for different kinds of positions, you may need to make different versions of your resume. For example, if you have experience in both sales management and operations management, you may want to keep two separate resumes saved for both sets of experience. Take into consideration the knowledge, skills, and abilities, or KSAs, that the job posting requires, and make a list of the KSAs you have that fit that criteria. Also consider the level of experience that the job requires. If the position requires at least three years in a management position, ensure that you have three years worth of management experience on your resume. And if the job posting has any certification requirements, be sure to list those in your resume as well. Now let's briefly go over the body of a resume. In a later video, we'll dive more into detail on how to design these sections. In this section, you should include your contact information. At a bare minimum, include your name, phone number, and email address. This information should be centered on the top of the page. Optional information to include in this area is your home address, and depending on the industry, your LinkedIn profile. In this section, you should include a professional summary. This is a quick one or two paragraph summary of your job experience as it applies to the position. A common misconception is that this section is an objective paragraph. This is not the case. A resume should be a summary of why you qualify for the role the employer needs to fill not stating what you want from the employer. This is not putting your best foot forward. Following your professional summary should be your skills and certifications. Be sure to list all KSAs applicable to this position that you possess. Recruiters will give this section a bit more attention than other sections, so be sure to list exact KSAs that they listed on their job postings to ensure you catch their attention. The core of your resume, which is this section, should include your professional experiences, accomplishments, volunteer activities and education, honors, and awards. 
There are a few ways to list these, which we will also cover in a later video when we dive into resume formatting. Although not a requirement, but especially if you're going into a research or educational based industry, be sure you also include any presentations, publications, or professional memberships you may have that will give you more credibility in your industry. And this has been the first part of a three-part series covering resumes. We hope that this will help you kickstart the resume building process and has given you a good starting point. If you enjoyed this video, be sure you watch our next video on resume formatting. Don't forget that work 4 years Nevada is an agency with offices in Las Vegas and Reno ready to serve the military and veteran community as well as their families. If you need more assistance or have questions, check out our website, workforwarriorsnv.org. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with our latest training videos, and be sure to check out all our social media platforms for the latest updates. Links to all our socials down below. Thank you for watching, and happy job hunting.